Hey, let's talk about this reverse bat crossbow by Ballista. First of all, I'm gonna show you, um, there's a Picatinny rail mount on here, so it actually mounts to a tripod, which is really sweet, because for kids or older folks, you can move it around on the tripod, lock it in, and be exactly where you need to be for precision shooting on it. Um, you know, next, if you want to, you could actually take this off the tripod. Okay, and I'll do that here. I'll get rid of this bolt and take this off the tripod. Quick release, right? Perfect. Okay, and you can see that there are, um, there's a pistol grip you can have for the four stock of it. There is also an option for, um, some states need a longer um, frame for it. So there is actually a collapsible stock I'll show you how this works. You actually um, push this button, expand it there, push this button, and you've got a longer stock. So you can actually be rock solid um, for shooting for a little bit longer distances. But let's talk about this a little bit. So this crossbow on the box and things like that, we talk about that it shoots 420 feet per second. That's with some of the test bolts that come from the factory of it. But if you're gonna be hunting with this sweet little unit, you want to use a little bit better bolt, heavier bolt for more kinetic energy. So let me show you. The ballista sting bolts are what we recommend for, for bow hunting or crossbow hunting with, whether you're hogs, turkeys, deer, whatever. Um, I've actually added a little bit extra weight. I use a stainless steel insert on here. So I'm shooting this, this bolt and broadhead together um, you've got about 320 grains, 350 grains, I think it is actually. Um, and with that, out of this crossbow, um, I'm getting about 47 pounds kinetic energy. Uh, feet per second on that with this heavier bolt, um, heavier broadhead and insert, um, I'm shooting about 330 feet per second. So still pretty good, um, just like a, as much as a, a bow is. Um, but I just want to be a little bit more realistic with the folks that are out hunting, that you are gonna be shooting a heavier bolt than nor than what's normally advertised, um, possibly a heavier insert on it for more kinetic energy to max it out. But this really is a sweet little item. Um, I'm gonna show you here. Um, with the stock, obviously, um, is one option of it. But I'm gonna show you a quick thing. So real close up on this, this is the cocking mechanism. Here's the safety of this. Okay, it's a one push safety of it and you're good to go, you're ready to fire. Um, I put a lucid optic on it, but you can put any other optics you want on it. It's a nice little red dot. With this unit at, at 20 yards freehand, without the stock, I'm putting groups um, of like this, of five bolts in about the size of a quarter at 20 yards. So very, very accurate crossbow um, with that. So um, I'm gonna show you also the great feature about how to uncock this. So let's say you're done with the field, you want to uncock it, make sure the safety is off, okay? You're gonna pull this back, okay? Just like you would to cock it, okay? Pull the trigger and slowly release it. You can see that, how that did, okay? So to cock the crossbow, again, we're just gonna do it the opposite, okay? Safety is currently off. You pull it back, just like you would a slingshot, okay? Till it clicks, let go. And if you notice, the safety came on automatically. So great little unit for turkeys, deer, hogs, um, potentially bear if you're close range with them. Again, about 47 pounds kinetic energy using the sting bolt. And you can freehand it, you can use the stock, or use the Picatinny rail mount and mount it on a tripod. So there you go, that is the ballista bat, reverse bat, all set up. Wish me luck.